Live from Miss McGuirt's fifth period class, our first video on skit, Mesopotamia. Hi there, and welcome to the Past is a Blast television channel. I'm Anna Tigress. And I'm Jake Euphrates. Thanks for joining us. Do we have a great show lined up for our viewers today, Anna, or what? We have a great show, Jack. That's right, Anna. Today, PBTV is going to take a page from the wrestling channel, but with a twist. Instead of going to the map with their buddies, our guests are going to slug it out with their words, which is why the greatest civilizations of Mesopotamia you decide. That sure is a tough question, Jack. And also, it's one I've been dying to know the answer to. I'm betting on the Assyrians. Think they'll beat the Sumerians? Well, let me put it this way. If anyone but the Assyrians wins, there will be consequences. I'm betting some heads will be lobbed across the newsroom in the Syrian catapults. Ouch, Anna. That sure is a good point. No one ever said those Assyrians play fair, but I'm with our show. Hello there, I'm Anna Tigris with the Pastors of Blast Television. I'm here today with my colleague, Jackie Frades, to speak with some representatives of Mesopotamia's greatest civilizations. Well, we're going to try to determine which civilization was the best. So, based upon your answers, so don't be shy. Ready? Let's begin. You are? I'm a Sumerian. You can just stop filming after you speak with me and my friends here. Sumer was the greatest. Without a doubt. The other simply followed us and built upon what we started. Without us, they'd be nothing. So what about you as Gray? Hello, we invented the wheel. For starts, you can imagine human life without the wheel. Don't forget the cell and the plow. What about irrigation? What would farmers be without irrigation? Think of the importance of stable food supply. We also invented, invented a form of writing called cuneiform to record our business transactions. Cuneiform uses a stylus or reed to make wedge shaped marks in wet clay. We were the first to have job specialization too. You two would be nothing but hunter gatherers without us. Our stable food supply has allowed you to develop our ways to learn a, to earn a living. That's True. Right. Hmm. You make a good point. I don't think other hunter gathering is a very is very appealing to me. And I know someone as good looking as I am belongs on camera. But thank you, you gentlemen from Samir. Uh, on to our next guest. You are Samir. I am Saw God, King of a God. Are you one of those Power Rangers? Most certainly I am not. Most certainly I am not. I am the creator of the world's first empire. Well, where is that at? It was the Akkad Empire, located in Mesopotamia. Want to hear how I did it? It's a great story worthy of being shared on PBTV. Sure. I was born to humble organs. Actually, I inspired a lot of stories that are in the Old Testament, but I don't want to brag. And I wormed my way into be appointing the cupbearer cup to the king of Kish. That is an important position. That's right. Cupbearer is not only is not only always around the source of power, but he can influence the king and make more important and make many important friends. That's what I did in any case. What happened to him? I overthrew the, the king of Kish and made myself king in his place. That's for me. Wow. The first thing I did after becoming king was to attack the city of Europe. The city-state is a city in all the land around it. Well, I destroyed Europe, dismantled its walls, and even brought its king back to Kish in a dog collar. What then? Well, slowly but surely, I conquered every city-state in Mesopotamia, creating the great empire of the Cod. I even built a new capital city of for myself in the banks of the Euphrates River. After that, I conquered territories in the Middle East and Asia Minor. Is that why it was called an empire? Because you had many different peoples, cultures, cultures, and territories under one central government? That's right. I also established the world's first standing army 
That meant being a soldier was now a full-time professional job. So you see, I was not only one of, not only important, but I did many things history has copied. I am the greatest! Thank you, Sargon, for your time. PBTV now turns its attention to the Babylonian civilization. Hello there. Hello, Dr. You. I am Himarov, the king of Babylon. Oh, I've heard of you. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. I studied your code of laws in school. It is an honor to meet you. As it should be. I am a great man, and, I, and my accomplishments are even greater. I was six, the sixth member of my family to hold the throne when Babylon was just an unimportant city surrounded by another more powerful city. I was determined to change it. But it took me 30 years. What did you do? I began to conquer all the city states around Babylon one by one and united them into one kingdom. And then. You read the book. But of course it was. After all, I am Hammurabi, but I knew conquering people wasn't enough. I knew that to, pick, to keep the peace and keep my heart together, I had to do more. So I built roads to improve communication, created a postal system, strengthened trade routes, and. Created a written code of laws. That's right. Written laws are important because fair rules and laws help people live, work, and learn together. Written laws give everyone a chance to know what the laws are. And don't forget, written laws give many people rights because people are able to read what their rights are. I have my laws written on steel, giant stone columns, and placed them in public spaces so everyone can see them. Tell me what was in your code of laws. Well, they were based upon laws that were already in use about 282 years. They did treat different classes of people differently. They also touched upon almost every part of daily life. Things like marriage, divorce, inheritance, murder, lying, and stealing business. And you are one impressive guy, but we have to move on. Hi there. You must be the Hittites. We are. Mind the beast. They stink. Try our honey. It's delicious. Now you know we're all the ancient world. We're known as the beekeepers. Would you mind telling us why you think the Hittite civilization was the greatest in Mesopotamia? We invented iron working. Our weapons and tools were better than anything ever seen before. Our discovery knocked the world out of the Bronze Age and into the Iron Age. Imagine an industrial revolution without iron. We are also fierce warriors and assembled a huge empire that stretched all over the Mediterranean. We were great warriors. We invented the chariot and the two-wheeled battle cart. We used it to destroy the foot soldiers who went against us. For a time, we had a great empire. We changed how the world was in war and in peace. We were great. I can see that you are. Good luck with winning the PBTV challenge. Thank you. Although I feel a bit nervous, I'm assuming that you are the Assyrians. Yep, that's right. You better be respectful. We'll slaughter you. Don't let our cruel and warlike behavior fool you. We run a well-organized army and empire. We made war into a business. City-states would surrender to us, even if they thought we would um, be about to attack. Our reputation really helped us there. However, once we conquered a place, we were excellent administrators. We built roads that connected our empire and appointed local leaders to run local provinces. Each leader governed a small area, collecting taxes, enforcing laws, and raising troops. It was very effective. The Persians and Romans later copied our system. It was that good. For those who didn't cooperate, well, it was over the city walls with the heads of those who fell in battle. That really got their attention. You got that right, but let's not forget we also had culture. Our civilization created the world's first library. That is impressive. The sword as well as the clay tablet will thank you for your time. Hello, sir. Welcome to the past of the best TV channel. You are? Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> not the Nebuchadnezzar, but <coughs> the hanging garden. The very same. I am, Chalde I am a Chaldean. We are descendants of, Ham of Hammurabi. We lived in a different time period. The Chaldeans were great admirers of the Sumerians. They built upon many of their inventions. What makes your civilization so special? Well, the Hain Gardens alone qualifies. <coughs> us. 
They were one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. I built them for my favorite wife, a princess from the mountains. The gardens themselves were not just amazing. The watering system that had, had to be built to accompany them was even more impressive. What else did you do? I made Babylon in the, in the center of astronomy. My people charted the stars. Because of because of us, you are you have a calendar. We also solve complex ge geometric problems. Let me tell you, these other fellows may have con contributed to civilization, but the Chaldeans were the most civilized people in Mesopotamia. I admit, I am impressed. Thank you, Nebuchadnezzar. Last but not certainly not least, we have the Phoenicians. <coughs> okay, so you dragged this off your ship, and it turns out real. Our business deal. Can I ask why? Pv TV is trying to yeah. determine what is the greatest civilization of Mesopotamia. We are now. Can we get back to trading? Why are you so great? Do you use scripts for your broadcast? Of course. Well, we invented the alphabet and then spread it around the Mediterranean in our business deals. Without us, no script, no job, no Pv TV. That's really hitting it hard. What else did you do? Well, if you like the color purple, you can thank us. Rare dye comes from murex mussels found along our seacoast. It was so beautiful and a rare color that only royalty and people of great importance were allowed to wear purple. We also found colonies all over the, the Mediterranean, like Carthage. We were such good sailors that we helped explore all parts of the Mediterranean. Why? It is even rumored that we sailed down along the west coast of Africa, something that wouldn't be repeated for almost 1,500 years. Holy smokes, you, go, you guys are impressive. Thank you for your time and happy bargain. Boy, Jack, I'm sure glad that I don't have to make a choice about which Mesopotamian, Mesopotamian civilization was the greatest, because they all are. In complete or agreement one. with you there, Anna. Well, audience, you've, you've seen the interviews. Now it is your turn to decide. Operators are standing by to take your vote. Will it be the Sumerians, the Akkadians under Sargon, the Babylonians under Hammurabi, the Hittites, the Assyrians, the Chaldeans under Nebuchadnezzar, or the Phoenicians? Please let us know. That's all the time we have. On behalf of the pastors of Blast Television, I'm Jack Euphrates. And I'm Anna Tigris. Thanks for watching. Fabulous people. Fabulous.